the day that our gracious majesty the queen was incapacitated and unable to attend the state opening of parliament for the first time in 59 years these two public figures decided to go literally public and slam our gracious majesty the queen what did they say Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. So we'll jump straight in with this particular story. The first up is this lady, <laughs> a Labour MP for West London called Rupa Huck. She is the sister of a TV presenter over here called Connie, a former Blue Peter presenter. Now she decided on this particular historical day and a rather testing day for Her Majesty the Queen, as one could imagine, to tweet this that the reason why Her Majesty decided to work from home was simply because it's the Parliament Act, the thin bills that she would have to read. Very crass, very, very lacking in any kind of kindness at all, but more importantly, even more shocking for an MP in the Houses of Parliament. Now, just to recap, this particular lady, Rupa, earns £82,000 a year before expenses. So she's certainly no person of the people. Again, another champagne socialist who's decided to attack a lady at 96 years old in public when they know they simply can't answer back. But she's not alone. Interesting to note also with Rupa, did she decide to publicly take it down, remove the tweet? No. Has she apologised? No. In fact, she appeared on radio and TV the day after and nobody questioned it absolutely at all. But here's the inside track. Rupa is the little less known sister of Connie, who really did get a little bit of TV fame way back in the 90s. So Rupa also is a part-time DJ and is desperate to be recognised in her own skin. She came to England in the early 60s with her family for a better life. And this is how she repays the state and the monarch in basically mocking them on social media. Given the fact that she has now actually received a better life and is in high office with inside Parliament for the Labour Party. Now this other gentleman here, Kevin Maguire, is a journalist and associate editor of the Daily Mirror. I've met Kevin on numerous occasions. There is no TV station, radio station, anywhere, podcast, that he will not turn up for, for the right fee to give his opinion, wanted or not. Now he decided to basically say that our gracious majesty the Queen uh, really should be stripped and uh, taken titles away if she can't do the job that sort of stuff. He's known for this sort of rhetoric on many occasions but of course media, the mainstream media, gives him a platform and even though Kevin himself lives in a very very wealthy area, Richmond in West London, the Royal Borough of Richmond and again earns a considerable amount as associate editor of the Daily Mirror, he's just a socialist who wants the best for the poor people. You get the picture with these people now. What's really upsetting on this Platinum Jubilee year as ever is that Her Majesty the Queen simply can't answer back. And it really must gall them as well, particularly Kevin and Rupert, who are so, so for the people. Prince Charles appeared in the East End yesterday and was mobbed by all kinds of young people. I mean, all multi-faiths, right? He truly was liked, mobbed. People were asking about his mum. They wanted to know how he was and how he's coping, etc. So while these people do try to bring down the monarchy, do not forget there is a bigger percentage who truly appreciate everything that the British monarchy does for us around the world, and none more so than our gracious majesty, the Queen. So next time you're thinking about buying a newspaper or perhaps casting a vote for your local MP, do think again. Remember, these two certainly aren't on your side. Sean in the very heart of London.